Hello guys, my name is Mr. Cleophas and today I want to just mention some things and cover up quantitative analysis QA, this is the unit which many people they say it's not a easy unit but I'm telling you it is the cheapest paper it is the easiest paper to get even over 80% in an exam those who are doing statistics in universities it is your time those who are doing uh, CPA foundation level it is a paper which must be examined or which you need to understand and today allow me to just teach a concept in probability you know when you talk of probability is the chances or the likelihood of an event occurring or not occurring in probability there are some areas you can never go without which examiner is most of the time likes examining uh -huh. which are these uh, these areas in probability you must understand the probability distributions or the probability theory which is the, the part of this probability distributions and today i want to cover two types of probability distribution the first one which is under discrete probability distribution we have two categories of distributions we have the discrete probability distribution and under discrete probability distribution which i'm covering today we are going to have the first one which is binomial 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 probability distribution. Then I will also cover and do a question which also have Poisson. Poisson probability distribution. So we have those two distributions which we need to understand very well. Binomial and Poisson probability distributions is what I want to cover. So just a minute as I just uh, start over or start with the binomial probability distribution. Great. So binomial probability distribution, it is a discrete probability distribution. I've said it is a discrete probability distribution. And under binomial probability, remember, the term by means what? By means two. So it is a distribution where the outcome or where there are two possible outcomes. Where there are two possible outcomes. The first one is, uh, whenever you perform an experiment, the first outcome is either a success or a failure so under binomial probability dis distribution it is a type of distribution where the outcomes are two that is either success or failure of an event right and you need to understand the formula of binomial probability of r and the r is the item of interest or what the examiner will require you to determine is equals to n and our n is the number of data values almost of the sample size n is the sample size combination sign that is combination r times uh, probability of success which is we denote it by p you raise it to power r times probability of failure we denote that uh, using q raised to power n minus r n is the sample size r is the item of interest one of the properties or characteristics of binomial probability distribution is that it is completely defined by the sample size and the probability of success 
It means what? Whenever you are doing any question uh, of binomial, you must be given the size or the sample size or the population size and the probability of success. Whenever you are given in binomial probability distribution, whether in percentage or in probability form, it is the probability of success. And these are complementary events, P and Q, probability of success and probability of failure. They are complementary events. What are complementary events? These are events, or two events are said to be complementary events if their probabilities add up to one. It means if you add the probability of success plus of failure, it should add up to one. So if I have P, because always you're given P, Q is one minus P, it will give you Q. And that is what you need to know. Uh, and a binomial. Uh -huh. I, we need now to cover Poisson here. I will just briefly cover Poisson probability distribution. Poisson is a limiting case of binomial. Why? It is used where the population size is infinite. In most cases, the population size is infinite. So that is when you use by uh, Poisson. But uh, binomial, it is used where the size of the population is finite or countable. Wonderful. We proceed. So under Poisson, you shall be given one thing, which we must be given. The average or the mean. You only need the mean or the lambda. It's called lambda. So that was Greek, but it is the mean. And it is denoted by the other sign of lambda, which is the mean. Then you need to know the formula. Probability of R is equals to what? Uh -huh, lambda raised to power R times exponential raised to power negative lambda all over r factorial that is the formula lambda is the mean r is the, the item of interest is exponential sign this lambda negative is the negative mean then all over r which is the item of interest then factorial sign these are some of the permutation uh, and combination size of permutation, which are the counting techniques, and you they are there in your calculators. You're there in your calculators. Thank you, guys. Let's proceed.